Hi everyone, Highlander here. Today we are going to go through a bit of an experimental video and disclose to you some experimental results. So we're going to be learning exactly what makes an insane AI and what differs it from a very hard AI. And typically the thing that most people know straight off the bat is that it gathers more minerals. It uh, gathers more minerals per run and it that's to the tune of 40%. So 40% more minerals gathered per run. Same goes for gas. Uh, but you can see our, our two players here have got essentially the same. So this is the insane AI in red. And we have our blue, very hard AI over here in the bottom left-hand corner. And you you can see exactly why they are exactly the same. For the purposes of this experiment, we've given the very hard AI uh, high yield mineral patches, high yield gas geysers, in an attempt to try and even the playing field, try and learn what else actually makes them different, what other differences are there. So the very hard AI uh, doesn't have the uh, income advantage, but it also lacks one other core advantage of having of being an insane AI, and that is map hacking. So the insane AI completely map hacks. Um, the very hard AI doesn't. Um, but for the purposes of this, we've turned off the fog of war for this map, and we wanted to see if that would actually change the very hard AI's behaviour um, or not, and you know what things are actually predetermined that it must do, as opposed to say the insane AI, which may be able to make a choice. And we can see that exemplify itself right here. We have this scouting SCV, which is checking both the towers on our modified version of Zelnaga cabins here. And he's running back and forth, even though he doesn't need to. So this is hardwired. This isn't a choice it's making. It's forced to do this. Uh, other than that, we can see that the, um, the incomes are essentially just about the same. If we look, take a look at the production tab, uh, the, we have an orbital command going up here for our very hard turn, but we've already gotten that established by our insane AI. So, and if you've been watching this top right hand corner, you can see that the average unspent resources is far lower for the insane AI, and that just spurs straight into the rest of his play. And you can see that just accelerate the rest of his build completely. Uh, we did a bunch of other tests. We did try this against uh, in other mirror matchups. Uh, there wasn't much point not doing a mirror matchup, but we did try a bunch of uh, different matchups, and a couple of other things did come out of it. Uh, you will see that the insane AI is, AI is more adaptive uh, in terms of its build, in terms of adapting to what you're doing, whereas the very, very hard AI is very much more so uh, stuck in a rut, so to speak. And we're just going to watch this. This game doesn't go for too long, as you can see here. Uh, the insane AI tends to... Bo both the AIs tend to push out at about the seven minute mark or so. But it does seem that the insane AI will adapt that much more. So we'll see the very hard AI, and they're going to push out at their standard timing, and we're going to see what's uh, going to happen with that, uh, that adaptiveness I've been telling you about. Uh, we included some mineral patches down here just to see if anyone would try to expand to it, uh, and we'll see what happens there as well. So I'll pick up the pace just a little bit. Uh, now one other difference between the AIs is that the insane AI has a very fast response time and quite a broad, uh, quite a broad range in which it will look to defend its own base from. Uh, from enemy structures, which is pretty much an anti-cheese mechanism which they built into the AI, uh, which helps defend it from cannon rushes and stuff, but it's not all that effective. And we're about that six and a half minute mark, and the very hard AI looks like it's about to hit with its attack. Now, for some reason, unbeknownst to me, it's backed off. I don't know why that would be. Now, the insane AI would be normally pushing out at around that seven minute mark. What I think it's doing is actually waiting for, uh, waiting to see what the other side would do. And as soon as they've set up back in their base and they've expanded, uh, it's decided to push out for the attack. So we've only got a couple of seconds to go here, and we'll just watch this play out. Um, the, the insane AI does micro harder than the very hard AI, and. Uh, the way we were, I was able to check this was if you just take a look at the splits that occur between the mining SCVs right at the start of the game, the, the difference is very marginal. 
but the uh, Insane AI will split all of its workers instantly, as far as the eye can tell, just about. Whereas the Very Hard AI uh, splits them very, very efficiently, efficient, more efficiently than any human would, uh, but it's still very, very... Um, oh, sorry, it's still quite detectable. Definitely spot it. Uh, and you can definitely see the difference if you don't check the both of them out. And we're going to be seeing the uh, uh, Insane AI march on through and kill the Very Hard AI, which is uh, altogether not too much of a surprise, but it is interesting to learn what made it that way, what were the differences were. And one last thing I'll do just before uh, we leave this now, so just we'll go back to show exactly what those supply differences were at the time of attack. So we had only a difference in three supply, uh, between the two different uh, two different teams, so the Terran uh, with the Insane AI is only three supply ahead. We'll take a look at the spending tab as well. It the there's a bigger difference of 450 in terms of technology, and that's probably what feeds its way uh, into this that little bit further. Um, there's no upgrades on either type, so it would that technology would really come down to. We don't have an engineering bay down at this end yet. What do we have in terms of... Uh, we do have stim pack researched and concussive shells. At the, at the very hard AI, we don't have those spent. So that would make a pretty fundamental difference. And that's uh, probably much of what's delivered to this technology differential here. And interestingly, the Very Hard AI has actually spent a little bit more on, on economy along the way. So, um, considering it's about to die and it hasn't gotten this expansion up, that uh, that's probably not the best thing for it. But that's it. That's all for this video. So I hope you found it interesting. Uh, after this, we'll be going back into more tutorial-based videos for achievement hunters. But I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, please. If you've got anything you'd like to add, add it in the comments below. Uh, I'm really interested to see if uh, there's anything else that we've missed. Hopefully there's not. Uh, otherwise, best of luck.